Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, extremely original Land Rover 90 County Station Wagon Genuine V8. Um, it's either 87 or 88 registered, I can't recall. Um, on an E-plate, finished in white with um, contrasting sort of uh, light brown full county interior trim. As I say, this one, as far as I can see, is uh, uh, certainly in terms of its paintwork and everything like that, completely and utterly original. Um, being white, of course, it shows every mark and picks up every sort of bit of uh, um, rust and reaction that you can see, but uh, uh, it's rather splendid. Just walking around it, standard county spec V8, so it's got um, tinted glass, uh, the county stickers down the side, the um, uh, Range Rover style steel wheels, which are correct for this. Um, unusual to see them still on those, actually. It's got uh, side steps, rear mud flaps. It's got a tow pack, although it's the agricultural style one. It, um, if you want to tow a caravan or something, you'll need to uh, bolt a ball on there instead, instead of the agricultural pintle type one with um, twin uh, electrics. Um, it's got the uh, foldable rear seats in the back, the four individual seats with seat belts. Oh, it's got this uh, front bar, which a lot of these ones of this age have got. Um, it can be unbolted. You might have to cut the... Uh, Cut the bolts off if you really don't like it. Personally, I'm no fan, but um, I suppose it does protect the front end. It's also got headlamp wash on it as well. Right, let's go around it and pick out a few more uh, details and um, show you what's what on it. Very, 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 very straight. No sort of dents or anything like that, but obviously being white, it does, uh, as I say, it's never been painted, so it has got some reaction and stuff on it. The front bar has lost its um, plastic coating around here to the right of the bar, and it's obviously uh, lost a bit of it there because there's some tape over it. Um, yeah, front bar's not very nice, really. Um, but apart from that, all around the front end, it's very, very nice, which I suppose the bar has helped to protect. Bonnet's fine, uh, considering it's 22 years old now, the paint's in pretty good shape. Um, say just, you know, slightly stained being white, I guess. Looking down the near side, once again, very, very straight, even by Land Rover standards, where you normally expect a few ripples and things like that. We've got some reaction coming up just here on the front of the near side front wing, some electrolytic reaction and some paint loss just there. But all around here, it's very nice. Back of the wing, once again, electrolytic reaction coming up here, but it's not been you know, blown over or sprayed over or anything. Um, and reaction's taken a hold down here on the um, modesty cover. Um, up here around the bulkhead, it's on the scuttle panel rather, it's all very, very good all around here and all very original. There is a bit of uh, rust just sort of bubbling through the paint just up here, um, but that's uh, a long way from needing any uh, attention really. Um, all the A-post there is very good. Um, screen is nice. There is a, a stone hit just there, but it's outside of the sweepable zone. Also looks as if it's been filled at some stage in the past. And the screen is delaminating slightly just on the edge. Um, passenger door on the outside. <coughs> Tiny bit of reaction just up here by the mirror, but hasn't really reacted around here, which is unusual. There is a bit around the door handle, uh, and it's reacting a bit just down on the bottom edge. Um, <coughs> Interior wise, very, very nice, original, untouched, could do with a valet uh, if you like really clean Land Rovers. But the, the seats are lovely, both, um, both front seats are fantastic, all the jack and everything's all down the back there. Underneath these uh, rather muddy mats, there are the original carpets, which are all still in very, very good shape. All nice. Um, dashes, a dash hasn't been cut about except the stereo has been removed. The passenger door, the frame actually feels pretty good on that feels still steel put it that way um, yeah that's not bad at all passenger door frame um, near side rear wing and everything we've got some reaction down the bottom here uh, a little bit of paint loss up here on the um, on the trim piece some little bit of reaction underneath the windows uh, so most people would have blown one of these over but I personally I prefer it sort of uh, untouched so you can see what uh, what you've got um, if it were a darker one, a lot of this wouldn't show up. And some reaction and paint loss, as usual, around the back of the near side rear um, wing and some up, up, just up the top there, so, so yeah, just on the corner. Once again, reaction around the tailgate on the bottom edge and around the handle uh, and a bit up here. Although the tailgate itself, frame-wise, looks like it's had a bit of a repair down there because there's a little bit of a grey primer. But it does actually feel pretty solid all around there. Uh, and around the hinges and everything that's not bad at all inside wise ignore my bag um, but the rest of it say looks like the seats have barely been used really um, 
and so it just could do with a, a bit of a bit of a valet in here but um, everything's complete the carpet's there the seats are there the belts are there the lot the, let's push that in to close the door the latch on the rear door um, all the rear cross member looks uh, pretty good from here um, same again round the offside rear is a bit of discoloration a bit of uh, la a reaction around the hinges and up there um, and what do we got there let's just see yeah, some paint loss just on the on the very corner once again down the down the offside very very straight and clean um, no nasty dents or anything no sort of uh, off-roading evidence once again reaction along the bottom uh, underneath the windows here just there uh, and a bit of uh, paint loss on the um, galvanizing well, not galvanizing but the, the trim piece that run that goes on the top of the tub along there uh, reaction there um, boop, 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 boop. modesty covers are a bit discolored with uh, over the years especially reacted at the front end there um, driver's door once again reaction on the bottom edge reaction by the mirror reaction by the handle it's getting a bit repetitive this um, but the driver's door the bottom of the frame isn't brilliant it's fair to say i'll just put my hand through a hole on the back of the back of it there but the rest of it along here well it's okay but um you might you know two or three years time you might look to replace that but the uh, the frame up the sides here is all good all the check straps are all still working interior wise on the driver's side once again splendid so valley wouldn't go amiss but it's uh, the seats are fantastic um everything sort of points to the mileage of 97,000 being correct door shut nicely um near side front wing is all good not dented just a little bit of reaction just there and on the back of the wing just there as well um, up here on the scuttle panel once again a few sort of uh, areas of surface rust just beginning to poke through just up here but uh, once again a long way from needing any um uh, any attention um very very honest very um very correct genuine original county v8 laminating delaminate a little bit on the side of the screen there that's about it my name's simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk end